self-portrait nudes, okay, where they, where they didn't have identities. Um, I had these two paintings, I started them in the 1990s, and I, they just resurfaced in the last two or three years. So they were, basically they were stored in a way that I wasn't able to access them. I knew they were there, and when, when I was able to access them, and I thought, I don't like leaving things unfinished, I wonder what would happen if I finished them. I could collaborate with my younger self. <laughs> so, so that's what we have here. So, so the paintings were uh, basically the, the figure was you know the figure had been drawn in and everything it was um, like a if, if you if you will sort of like an underpainting basically blocking it in with with paint. So there was um, wash work done here. This also has ink. Um, so it was kind of started out with ink and then um, I finished it with watercolor. And then I thought, you know, I want to give her an identity. And there was this little white spot in the back, and so I named her Luna. So it's kind of like she's, she's like, it's like Moonlight. And, um, and then this, this one is on gesso paper, and um, which is really fun to work with, um, to do watercolor on, because it actually, if you, if you haven't tried it, it actually allows you to kind of wipe away the paint. So when you do normal watercolor, the paper absorbs the paint. And here, it kind of stays on the surface more. Um, you know, it kind of stains a little bit, but it allows you to manipulate it more. So I may be doing some more paintings on, on gesso paper. And um, this was all, the, the pose was done, the pink, and then I, I thought, okay, who's she going to be? And I've always loved Valkyries, so I made her a Valkyrie. So, you kind of have like a Nordic landscape, and um, ravens are sacred to Valkyries, and so I thought that was that was kind of a, a cool way. And then I, I gave her, I gave her um, sort of place the the armor, so there's like a time period there. And then look how awesome the frame is, right? Mm. And that's, like, kind of, that's like I love that. I love finding frames that create a nice marriage between the painting and the frame. And I think that stems from my art history background as well. 